In this video, I'm going to show you five stretches that you can do as soon as you get back from a mountain bike ride. So the idea with these is that you've been out on a ride, you're tired, your muscles are aching, you need to relax now. You get through the door, down your protein shake, have a quick shower, and then go downstairs and then do these stretches. So you're doing them pretty much within 10 minutes of finishing your ride. Now what they'll do is they'll help you relieve aches and pains, They'll help you to recover, they'll help relax you after a ride, and they'll help improve your recovery and your flexibility as well. So they're well worth doing. They take about 10, 15 minutes to do, and like I say, there's five of them for you to do. So they're gonna be really beneficial for you. Now before I get into them, to catch all the future MTV Fitness videos, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications. And then without further ado, let's get into the stretches. So the first of the five stretches that we're going to do is a hamstring stretch. So your hamstring is the muscle at the top of the back of your thigh, so just in there, so that's where you're aiming to feel this. And this is really tight for a lot of mountain bikers watching this video. So to do this stretch, you're going to sit down on the floor, bend one leg, and you want to get this foot as close to your groin as you can get it. Chest up tall, bring this toe towards your shin, and then you're going to reach down towards your foot, and like I say, you're really trying to feel that stretch in your hamstring up there. So go as far as you can, and what you'll find with this stretch and all the stretches is that once you've done it for 10 seconds, you'll probably ease off a bit and be able to get a bit deeper, be able to get a bit deeper, be able to get deeper. So I'll go right down. And what I want you to do when you're stretching with all of these is get to the point where it makes you wince a little bit and it's uncomfortable. It's not like a sharp pain, you don't feel like you're about to injure yourself, but it's just making you cringe a little bit because you can really feel that deep stretch that's when you know you've got the sweet spot so go all the way down and then you're going to hold it there for one minute then change legs and then do a minute on your other leg and stretch that one there so that's your first one that's a hamstring stretch the second one that we're going to do is a quad stretch so that's the muscle on the front of your leg now for this one you're going to take a knee and then just i'll show you that'll be easiest take a knee Maybe hold on to something for balance on one side and then just pull this foot up towards your bum and hold that stretch there. Now the closer you get it to your bum, the bigger that the stretch is and you might find that the more that you do, as in when you've done 10 seconds, 20 seconds, you can pull it that bit further. So you might start out there and then get further in. But just hold that there for a minute and you should feel it stretching right down your quad, right down the front of your leg. So again, do a minute on this one and then a minute on this leg. Now the next one that you're going to do is a lumbar stretch. So what I want you to do for this one is lie flat on your back, bring one arm out to your side, and then whichever arm you've put up, you're going to bring your leg up and then over towards the ground like that. And then you're going to hold it for a full minute on the ground there. You should feel it stretch anywhere from there right down into your lower back for a full minute. And then when you're done, You'll change, change arms, change legs, and do the other one as well for a minute. So that'll just really help you ease off your hips and your lower back, because they can get really, really tight when you're mountain biking. So that's stretch three. Stretch four, and you need a sofa for this one. So all I want you to do for this is put your hands up on the sofa and put your thumbs towards the roof. So I'm doing that, popping them on the sofa. My arms staying straight. And then I'm dropping my chest down towards the ground. And what you're aiming to feel is it stretch anywhere across your chest, in your shoulders, in your upper back. Now this one's really good because most mountain bikers, they might type all day for a living and then you're driving your car in that hunched over position and then you go mountain biking again in that hunched over position. So all of these muscles on the front of your chest become tight and they become short and they pull you into that position. Now what this stretch does is it just helps ease all that off and pull you back into that open position. So on there, push right down and hold it for a full minute at the bottom and you should find that it really starts to help relax all of that and bring your shoulders back. And then the fifth and final stretch that you're gonna do is an adductor stretch or a groin stretch. So for this one, you're going to sit down on the ground, put your feet together, and then you want to bring your heels as close to your groin as you can. And then stick your chest up tall. I like to put my hands under my, hand, under my feet. Chest up tall, shoulders back, and then you're just going to let your knees drop down to the ground 
as far as they can go. And what you should find with this is that you feel it stretch all along your groin, all along your inner thigh. And you're just going to hold that there for a minute. If you like, you can put your back up against the wall and then you've got a little bit of support, but just hold that there for a full minute. And those are five really simple stretches that you can do after every mountain bike ride and you just find that they really help you relax, they help to ease off your muscles, relieve those aches and pains and you might find that you don't get as bad pains further down the road. So I hope you really enjoy them, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications and then you can watch further MTV Fitness videos. Thank you.